Hello everyone and welcome to Uyghur Tech. Today I'm going to teach you how to save some battery life on your iPhone running iOS 7 and this will also work for your iPad. A lot of people are complaining that with iOS 7 their phone battery is just draining completely almost by midday. A lot of people say they're waking up taking their phone off the charger and by lunch needing to plug it in again. Now a lot of this is due to Apple making a lot of settings on by default and so today I'm going to show you three different settings that are on by default that you can turn off to save some of that battery power. So first of all, we're gonna go into your settings. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to general. And we're gonna scroll down to background app refresh. Now this is gonna be on by default. What it's gonna look like is you're gonna have a little green button right there. And what this allows the phone to do is to have apps open in the background and it for it to use your internet connectivity, your GPS, stuff like that to keep the apps, like it says, refreshed in the background so they're always current when you're switching back to them. Now, all of us didn't have this before iOS 7, so we got very used to opening up, let's say, Twitter and having it have to load again. So if you're okay with that, if you're okay with apps having to update for a little bit when you first open them, then you can completely turn this off and it'll drastically save your battery power. So that's the first thing. That's number one, is turning off that background app refresh. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to accessibility. Now under accessibility, there is a section called reduce motion. So what reduce motion is going to do, it's gonna turn off that parallax. If you notice that when you look at your phone in the background of the phone, it kind of shifts as you move the phone side to side. And there's a lot of other motions um, that iOS 7, it made a lot of things really jumpy. And so this setting really reduces that and it also saves battery power. So that's number two. Number three is just a simple thing. Um, if we go back to our settings and we are gonna change the wallpaper, now there's an option when you hit choose wallpaper to choose a dynamic wallpaper. The dynamic means that the, you know those blue circles, they kind of float and move, um, very android s But um, having that on really does drain the battery power, especially with all three of these settings on at the same time. Um, you are gonna see your battery power almost gone by midday, depending on when you take it off the charger. So I would choose a still or a photo or anything like that. So those are three quick settings that you can go in to do to save battery power, and it really doesn't decrease the usability of the phone. Um, it just almost makes the phone for those settings a lot like it was before iOS 7. So you get a lot of the nice features of iOS 7 without losing the battery power. So I hope that helped you guys all out today. I hope your phones last all day. I hope you can wake up in the morning, unplug it, and not plug it in again until you go to bed, which is what we all want. Actually, we'd all want it to last a week, but hey, we can't have that. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, definitely um, hit me up on Twitter, at mweger, or email me, mike, at wegertech.com. I know I've been on kind of a hiatus here. Um, I started back up with school again, but I really do try and answer all your guys' emails, questions. I do take video requests, everything like that. So you guys, have a great day.